I cannot believe that today we are getting ready for the new year. It sounds like crazy to think that we already this time of the year. But I'm really, really excited for today. I think this is really one of my favorite look. It's a challenge I gave to myself. So the story is I just found this lipstick and I was totally in love and I was like, I need to wear this and I need to wear this for the new year. So I'm excited to show you today how I do a blue lips look. <laughs> yes, you heard me, blue lips. One thing to know when you're wearing blue is that your complexion is gonna look a little bit more tired most of the time. The skin looks a bit more yellow or green, a little bit more, you know, sick looking. So what I'm gonna do is make sure I'm gonna remove the shadows on my face. So I'm gonna have this concealer under my eyes and around my lips, but just really just where I need it, so small touches. And then with the cushion stick uh, foundation that I really like because it has this very healthy like light coverage. I'm gonna start blending this foundation on my skin and pad with a cushion where I have concealer. So it's basically having a veil of foundation on my skin and then a little bit more coverage wherever I need it. The idea is to create like a perfect skin, the illusion that your skin is like flawless without looking like you're wearing too much makeup on. So as you know, I don't wear foundation on my nose because it really keeps the skin looks even more natural. But if you have redness with your finger, apply a tiny bit of foundation wherever you need it. Try to make it like by touches and not by like huge tests statement like everywhere. Um, now I'm using a cream blush that is pink. The idea is to really break the yellow of my skin and bring up like a very healthy color. And cream is great because the lips are going to be like foil texture so a bit more dry and I want to make sure my skin is going to be very glowy to balance with the lips texture. That's why I'm using this highlighter that is creamy to bring a very healthy glow to my skin. And you'll see at the end of the video, I'm gonna use another touch on top of the highlighter to really bring some glow, I would say even gloss on my skin. And that's really one of my favorite part with this look. I'm gonna move forward with my eyes. The idea is to bring sort of like spice in the eye without looking like you are wearing makeup on. I apply with my finger so I have a bit more intensity but still make sure that it's blended well so it doesn't show too much. And then I'm gonna have black eyes pencil. So to have your black pencil going and color the roots of your lash. So I close my eyes and I really put my eye pencil between my roots and I just color it. So when I open my eyes, you cannot really see I'm wearing anything, but it's just gonna give me this energy to my eyes and this spice that I'm looking for. And then I'm just gonna apply mascara on top and the bottom. Black intense, um, mascara just to you know give you a bit of va -va boom in your eyes without looking like it's from makeup it's more like no this is just my eyes <laughs> first step on my lips is going to be this lip pencil the idea for this is to really shake my lips the best way possible when you're wearing blue lipstick when you're wearing such a statement on your lips you need to, the shape of your lips to be perfect so I'm really taking the time to perfect my lip shape. I love to do it with my lips closed because it's helping me to see exactly like the right shape I want to give to my lips. If you have um, lips that are a bit smaller and you want to make them bigger, don't hesitate to cheat a little. Take the time to really make a beautiful, perfect lip shape. Another thing that I would really advise is to moisturize your lips a lot before applying this texture. So one thing I love is the KNC mask. Uh, you can wear for 15 minutes before doing your lips. You can do your hair or whatever you want in the meantime. And it's really gonna give you the perfect plum moisturized lips you're looking for. And now I'm coloring my lips. There's two reasons I'm doing this. A, it's to like give more intensity to the lipstick I'm gonna wear, even though it doesn't really need more intensity. But also because this lipstick stains so much. Like you have to try it on your hand first and you'll see, it's like a tattoo. Go away after like the next day, but it's still gonna stain a lot. So this pencil is actually gonna be a protection. But even though I applied it, it was better, but it was still staining. So maybe if you really want to make sure it's not going to stain at all, you can wear foundation, powder, lip pencil, and then you can have your lipstick and all of this on your lips. Here is the start of the show, this incredible metallic foil looking blue lipstick. When I saw it, it was like love at first sight. Uh, I felt totally in love. I need to wear it. and. 
That's why I don't mind if it stains or not, because I'm just going to make it work. I have to wear it. I'm a huge fan of Yves Klein, and every sort of blue like this has such a strong impact on me, like it vibrates inside of me. So I was so excited to finally found a lipstick of this color. So this texture is going to dry, and it's going to be like pure magic foil on your lips. So now I'm using Rosebud as a in the tube, and I'm going to use it on my cheekbones, my eyelid, and then you know, kind of my eyes, the cupid's bow, a tiny bit of the chin. Like wherever you use highlighter, you can put this product on. A little bit more on the eyelid because the idea is to have this glossy feeling. Honestly, I love it because it's really going to give a beautiful, glow, healthy look on your skin. Here we are uh, with Blue Lips for the new year. I'm really excited by this look. I can't wait to hear what you guys think. And if you recreate this look, please tag me. I always love to see you guys so much wearing all these looks. And one thing I wanted to tell you, it's been a year and I think two months I launched my YouTube channel and I wanted to thank you so much for this year because you've been an incredible support to me and all you love you sending me means so much. And I wish you guys an amazing year, incredible adventures, all your dreams come true, lots of love and a good health. And I see you next week.